Maligang Pasco, Makabano, it's Chris here and I wanted to share with you today my white Christmas crackles recipe. Over the last few years I've done different desserts usually at Christmas time to show you guys what will really be on my Christmas table that year but I've noticed that you know this is like my fourth year now of being like a dad of Manila you know I've got the two boys at home and I need to find more recipes that are kid friendly right that they're gonna look at and they're gonna want to eat it so I thought back to my own childhood and I had an aunt who used to make the white Christmas crackles now that's a little bit different from white Christmas or can we call that maputing pasco it's a bit of penis but white Christmas is kind of like a white chocolate and then it's like studded with lots of different yummy things like the cherries and pistachio nuts different types of dried fruits depending on what you've got right so when you put the crackles in um, it's just really through the addition of some rice puffs and that's gonna make it like a bit more like have that snap and that texture that the kids really enjoy so that's the main difference when you're doing a white Christmas crackle then we're gonna put those into those little patty trays put them in the fridge and the kids will go nuts for it at Christmas time so it's a thing recipe today for Christmas the first thing we have to do uh, is you need a, a, a white chocolate you can actually just get blocks of white chocolate and just like drop them in but baking white chocolate tends to be in these little pellets or little bits right and that just means there's a greater surface area for the, the heat so they'll tend to melt a little bit faster a bit easier to melt so we're gonna need about three or four hundred grams of those I've got these two uh, two bowls worth of these white chocolate chips and I'm gonna pour them straight into a bowl now you'll see my contraption here let me show you how I'm doing this I have a glass bowl inside a saucepan with water at the bottom and the reason I'm doing that is it it can be a little bit difficult like it's it's easy to scorch the white chocolate if you try and do it directly in a pan you've got to do it over quite low heat otherwise it can scorch and not melt down the way we want it to so the water just allows us to have a very precise control over how slow it heats I should say so that if it looks like it's starting to overheat or whatever we can very quickly get it out get it off water so I'm going to keep my heat low and to help it melt down as well, we're gonna use a little bit of thickened cream. So that will also help us to sort of conduct heat into the white chocolate and have it melt into a nice liquid form. And I'll just get my wooden spoon here so I can start to stir this and I can feel down the bottom they're starting to melt a little bit. Let's put the heat back up now that that cream has gone in. And that's what I mean about the ability to really control the temperature. This is actually a really good recipe to do with, uh, with kids and you can do different variations on it. So what I'm going to be doing actually at Christmas time, I'm going to show you guys the white Christmas. And this is really for the kids because, you know, for me white chocolate is, is very sweet, it's very sugary. Uh, I'm really kind of, I guess if I've grown up, I'm more of a dark chocolate guy now. I really prefer dark chocolate. It's just not too sweet. It's got, you know, that bitterness to it from the high use of cocoa. So white, white Christmas I do find a little bit too sweet these days. I will on Christmas Day eat a couple of pieces. But the variants you can do, you can actually, following exactly the same approach, make uh, like a milk chocolate. And if I do milk chocolate, I normally like to use, uh, you know, cornflakes uh, with a milk chocolate. And you might put some nuts and some raisins in there as well. Uh, and then for the, the grown-ups, you could actually just take dark chocolate baking cubes and make a dark chocolate version. If you're doing dark chocolate, you might want to do things like almonds. That would be a really nice um, option, like a dark chocolate and almond crackle. Okay, now these are starting to come together to a paste. I don't know, if you look at my white chocolate sauce, it's taken a while to melt down, but it's really important you go slow at this stage. Sometimes, you know, you just can't hurry things, but this is really very close. There's still a few tiny chunks there that are just about fully melted down. So just before I start to add in all of our other ingredients, remember if you haven't already got my book, Christmas is just around the corner. Who would have thought of making white Christmas, Diba? You know, the world of Filipino cooking, very proud. It was launched a few weeks ago here in Manila. Make sure you grab yourself a copy if you haven't already. Nandito sa Pilipinas, meron siya sa Amazon. Meron din sa fully booked or power booked, yung mga leading bookstores sa Pilipinas. But if you're not here, if you're one of the many cabanos who lives in uh, North America, say so UK, so Australia, you can just go to Amazon, just search for Chris Urbano or Maputin Cooking or World of Filipino Cooking and it's going to come up and you can, you can get it and they'll ship it to you within a few days, wherever you are in the world. 
So uh, do try it. If you have any friends who are into Filipino cooking, maybe you could get them a copy too. This recipe is not in there, by the way. You'll have to go to the website or just watch the whole video to see how the White Christmas turns out. Because it's simply not a Filipino thing, young book called. But who knows? If you guys all buy a copy, maybe I can make more cookbooks and I can do one specially about Filipino Christmas recipes and I can include Chris Urbano's White Christmas in there. I kind of want to try it. I'm just like really curious. Can I, I'm going to taste this. Oh wow, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's like a million calories a, a teaspoon, I think. But this is gonna taste great. Now, Makabano, I think we're uh, just about there. That's looking really good now. We're ready to start adding our other ingredients. I'm going to cut the heat on the stove, but I'm gonna just leave it over the water until we're done adding things so that I know that it's gonna stay warm through this adding process. I'm gonna start first by adding my rice bubbles. So let's get them in first. And next we'll do our desiccated coconut. I've got about a cup of that. And that's really the base. And you can already see that looking like the finished product, right? We just need to bring the colors in and the dried fruits. I've got a few things here. So I'm gonna use, uh, there's lots of different things you can chop in, but what I'm gonna do, uh, I've got some craisins and they've been chopped up. So like cranberry, dried cranberries effectively. I've got some sultanas, these are from Australia, and the kids will love those. And those just give them that kind of, not just sweet, but like a, you know, a spicy, rummy kind of sweet that sultanas give, which gives it a kind of a, a bit of a Christmas feel. And I'm actually gonna put in some dried blueberries for a splash of blue in, I know it's uh, called White Christmas, and the focus actually is these two ingredients here, which I'm gonna put last. But I thought having a splash of blue in there will just sort of make these look quite cool. But the two key things you need to put in is something red and something green. So I've got um, these chopped pistachios and that's going to be my green. So I'll put that in next. And then these are uh, the glazed cherries. And those are this like really sweet, almost candied flavor that they bring. Now we're gonna stir that all together, and that is how it looks. But I think my consistency is looking pretty good now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is grab my, my mitts here. These are the most hilarious oven mitts. I don't know why I use these on the show. All right, now just gonna get our bowl out. There. Okay. okay, so for this I would recommend just using a, a tablespoon. It's a little bit smaller and easier to um, to get into the into the trays. Um, you just wanna get these, you can get these from the store pretty easily. And we're just gonna fill each of these with the white Christmas crackle mixture. Don't worry if you make a mess. And in fact, if you do this with your kids, you should expect to make a mess. Again, because you're putting them into the patty cake liners, it really doesn't matter because you'll pull these out and you can just, you know, wash the tray afterwards. And I'm just going back and sort of filling the ones that are a little bit short and then this will be ready to go into the, the freezer. I'm gonna put them in the freezer so they set a bit faster. I'm gonna put these in the freezer now. I'll uh, be right back and then we'll uh, be back here with a little uh, Mundin cooking hopefully to do a taste test and see if they're any good. All right, see you soon. So I'm here now with our taste tester for today, uh, AJ Urbano, uh, or Mundin cooking as I like to call him, the little man in the kitchen. AJ, how are you going? Are you good? Are you good? You know how to talk better than that. You're being funny for the camera. Okay, now um, what we're gonna do, AJ is gonna help me to transfer these onto this Christmas plate. And the Christmas plate is red and green colors on the outside, which makes it look like a Christmas theme. So do you wanna help me with this, AJ? We need to put these on the plate like this, okay? And then you're gonna get to try them, but we gotta put the snow on them first. So these are our delicious white Christmas desserts. Are you ready? Now the last thing we have to do before it's ready to serve is we're going to put this on like snow. So you get some like this and then you get to sprinkle it. Okay? Just sprinkle it like this. Okay, but just a little bit in each spot, okay? And it's okay if you want to get it on the plate. See how daddy's doing it up high like this? And it's like it's snowing, right? Have you seen snow before, AJ? Have you ever seen snow? No. No? Okay, last one. Ready, last one. Now, do you want to taste one? Do you think you want to taste one? Okay, Edgy's gonna choose one. He's gonna choose his favorite one. Now, how do we get this out? All right. 
What do you think? <laughs> Is it yummy? Can I hold it? Is it yum? Can you tell me if you think it's yummy? Oh, did you say it's very yummy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? So while he won't actually say it's delicious, that's the like fourth or fifth bite in a row that AJ has had. There we go. Winner. <laughs> so AJ, thanks for helping me to plate this up, buddy. We're gonna make these on, on Christmas day as well for the family Christmas, mm -hmm. okay? Maligayan Pasco to all of you, whether you're my Cabanos or you're watching this video for the first time. Hope you enjoyed my white Christmas crackles recipe. This is perfect for kids at home and looks really festive and delicious. Uh, on your Christmas table uh, this year. Thanks for all the support in 2018. Everybody who watched the show left comments, uh, hit like, told your friends, or subscribe to the, the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already heard, my book is out. Like I actually wrote a book. So this thing that started as Mapoten Cooking like a couple of years ago, Mero Nanan Libro. If you haven't already got a copy, go to the National Bookstore or fully booked if you're in the Philippines. Just order it from Amazon if you're in the States or anywhere else in the world and they'll get it to you real quick, just in time for Christmas, or give it as a gift to your family. But hope you enjoyed the recipe. I just wanted to say um, from the whole Urbano family, Merry Christmas, Marigayang Pasco, and we'll see you all guys next year. So uh, bye now, and have a great Christmas and a safe and festive season this year with your families. Bye. You wanna say bye? Bye bye. Bye bye. How about this? Bye bye book. Bye bye book. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Gayang Pasco. That sounds like the birthday song. You sound like you're singing the birthday song. Mali Gayang, Mali Gayang, Mali Gayang Pasco. Like that. Yeah. All right. See you guys.